Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up Pokemon Evolved in your Arc Survival Evolved game. It's very easy to do, and this guide will pretty much cover all of the things that you will probably be asking once you get in the game. So please make sure that you do stay tuned throughout the whole video, and if you do enjoy it, then please remember to leave a like, as I am a small YouTuber trying to get big. Anyway guys, I would also like to say that I will be doing lots of content on this mod, on this game, just kind of updating you on what kind of Pokemon are going to show up in the future, as I am in contact with the devs, and they're pretty nice people. Also, I will be starting a Facecam Let's Play series, which I know for a fact you guys will definitely enjoy. Anyway guys, let's get on with how to set up Pokemon Evolved on Arc Survival. Okay, so getting straight on with this mod guys, I'm gonna assume that you've already got this mod installed on your computer and that you're on your main menu of Arc just like me. Now we have to make the decision whether we're going to join the online servers, in which I actually love playing in, or we're just gonna play a normal single player game. Make your decision, set up your game. If you are looking for the multiplayer servers, the links and IP addresses will be in the description of this video, along with some other useful kind of links. So make sure that you go and check that. Okay, so I've actually just created a new character on a brand new server and uh, yeah, let's get straight into these basics on how to set up your new Pokemon arc. So, as you can see right here, it's night time and we've just spawned in. First thing you want to do guys, if you are on single player, is press tab on your keyboard. Then we need to type in destroy wild dinos. So that's... That's what you type in. Just type in destroy wild dinos and all of the dinosaurs around you will die. It will take around about five more minutes and a little bit of walking until your new Pokemon show up. Now next what we're going to do is press I on our keyboard to open up our inventory. And we should see these items right here. A mystic Pokemon terminal, electric prod, food capsule, health capsule, water capsule and some Pokemon credits. If you do not see those, then make sure to go and kill yourself somehow and then once you respawn, they should then be there. Now first of all, we're going to click on the Mystic Pokemon Terminal. We're going to put that right there. And uh, we're going to go out of this. Press 1 and place it down right here. Now this is what most of you will actually be looking at most of the time. You can actually spawn Pokemon through this. So if you want a Charizard and you don't want to catch one out in the wild because it will kill you, you can actually save up your Pokemon credits and buy it from this terminal. So we're going to press E to go inside and access its inventory. And we're going to place over our credits. Now we're going to go on view engrams. And we want to go all the way down on this list. So it should be just here. You will see these things. And we want to learn pretty much all of them. But I do want to say this and I want to stress it that these glyphs do not actually work in game. There is an update coming that will do something very interesting with these things. So make sure that you do stay tuned on the channel as as soon as it is released I will be telling you guys what to do with them. Also, food capsules, health capsules, and water capsules are what you give to your both your Pokemon and yourself to keep yourself, you know, fed and all of that stuff. Also, everything here, alpha test icon, you can actually, you know, go and learn. Also, the rare candy right here can be used to replenish health and also tame dinosaurs a little bit quicker, or Pokemon, I guess. And here are all of the Pokemon that you can actually buy from the terminal. So I'm just going to really quickly accept all of these Pokemon and learn all of these engrams. Now as you can see right at the bottom here we do have the stone pick. That is because it's no longer at the top so if you are looking for this just click it right here and then you can then buy it each time you need to. Okay so we've done pretty much everything right here. These are all just the stuff on the normal server. We're going to close this we're also going to exit out of that menu and then go back in. So here you go right here. And as you can see, all of these uh, engrams are actually usable now. We can actually place down a Squirtle, a Charmeleon, a Venusaur, let's see a Charmander, Bellsprout, or even a Bulbasaur. But I think you know, you guys know what I'm going to go for, right? It's, it's got to be the Charmeleon. So we're going to craft this right here 
and it'll take a little bit of time, so don't worry about that. Now also, what I would like to say is that all of these normal engrams are actually usable on the servers, you know, you use these to build your own base, uh, kill Pokemon, I know that sounds very horrible, killing Pokemon, but it's actually uh, necessary in this mod, we need to kill some Pokemon in order to get credits to buy our own other Pokemon, food capsules, or even rare candies, so make sure that you do come equipped with some kind of tool that can kill a Pokemon. Now here we have our Charmeleon, this is our first ever Pokemon together guys. So we are going to press a 3 and here he is right here, look at him. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now with every Pokemon in this game, they do eat meat, prime meat, all of that kind of stuff. So what we're going to have to do now is find some Pokemon on the beaches that we can either tame or kill. So. Uh, normally, we would start off with some Bellsprout. We need some Bellsprout. But over here, I can see that we have a, a an, an Ivysaur. So uh, let's, let's, let's just... There you go. Now he's unconscious. It's not normally that easy to knock something unconscious in this game. But we got it. So that's pretty good. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any meat or prime meat on me. Obviously, I haven't seen any bell sprouts, and currently there is a little bit of a glitch in the game where if you kill a bell sprout, it will fly away from you, so you cannot get any meat, but it will be fixed in a future update. So, for example, I'm just gonna kill this Ivysaur here. Okay, so finally we killed our Ivysaur, and as you can see, when we killed it, we actually got some credits. Now. Like I said, you know, you need to kill Pokemon in order to get credits. So let's say you want a Charizard, I believe it's 900 credits. And, you know, that's a long way to go, so you will need to kill quite a lot of Pokemon. Obviously, the bigger the Pokemon, the more credits you will get. So, yeah, it's not always like 3 credits, 4 credits, it's actually a little bit more. Now, I think I've got enough Prime Meat and Raw Meat, I'm just gonna keep on going a little bit longer. And now we should hopefully find another one of these somewhere in the forests so i'm gonna try and find one guys and uh, yeah i'll see you then okay so it took a little bit of time but i finally found a little squirtle wandering on the beach hopefully he doesn't kill me i doubt he will but here uh, let's try and knock this little sucker out so we're gonna switch to our prod and there you go okay so he's he's uh, unconscious now although he does look like he's praying that's again just another little glitch in this update but don't worry it will be fixed and remember guys that this is in an alpha stage and for an alpha stage it's truly impressive so we're gonna now place some th stuff into his inventory some prime meat there you go and uh, some raw meat too just exit out and that will tame him over time. Let's see if we- okay, so there's a bell sprout. We're gonna also uh, try and tame this little guy, even though we've just got rid of all of our meat. So let's go back and get our meat. God damn it, Star-Lord. What are you, some kind of- kind of newbie? Do we have our squirrel yet? No? Come on. Come on, dude. Stop your praying. Okay, there you go. So we got our squirrel, and uh, he is now ours to keep, which is very, very awesome indeed oh wait that's not right my bell sprout needs na oh, okay so we got everything now so there you go guys that is how you uh, tame and feed pokemon no matter if it's a plant it will always need prime meat or raw meat you know everything uses raw meat in this game kind of weird but you know it works now a lot of people have been asking me do the pokemon actually evolve in the game and the, the answer to that is yes they actually do the starter pokemon such as bulbasaur uh, Squirtle and Charmander actually evolve once they hit level 40, which is very awesome. The other Pokemon don't yet support this feature, but they eventually will, hopefully, in a future update. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much wrapped up this ultimate guide to the Pokemon mod on Arc Survival. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please remember to give a like to the video as it does help me grow my channel more than you realize. And if you want to, go and click that subscribe button and keep updated with this mod and all different kinds of other gameplay. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.